Hello guys and welcome to the first cracking implementation video. So from now I'm gonna just like uh, get into the, into the implementation section. Hope you have already uh, watched the <coughs> introduction sections because they were important just for you to get the concept that what we're gonna do because now I'm not gonna explain every single thing that well we are actually doing I'm just gonna get to the process well uh, if you are really just, just like confused about what is what I'm doing like what kind of things I need to do what I'm doing like stuff like that you can always watch my introduction videos I've already uploaded the introduction videos about cracking binning spamming so you can already check that out and if you have checked that out so let's better get started so like I told you for cracking you read a like a really beefy PC let's talk about like at least I will prefer you to go with a 6 core and 12 threads PC and that just that should be like a good kind of processor and RAM should be at least 16 gig or 8 gig but will also work out and the internet speed spends a lot you, you can't just like do cracking with having the internet speed like I would say uh, 3 megabyte uh, like they're gonna show you 3 megabyte but you know this uh, intro speed is divided by 10 so that's like 3 megabyte so you can't just do that you need to have like at least uh, I was I would say normally 100 megabyte like they will show you 1 gigabyte in the uh, uh, speed uh, test.net uh, but uh, actually your speed will be 100 megabytes so that's what your actually actual speed will be and I uh, hope you're already subscribed to my youtube channel if you have not subscribed just subscribe right now and he, and uh, you have if you have not accessed this playlist yet you can just always just click on the access playlist option because all the videos are going to be uploaded in the uh, single playlist so you can always just like get started in the hacking option then just like learn and i wanted to just like mention another thing that i don't think so that i can upload all of the cracking or hacking videos on youtube because youtube has already took down two of my videos in, in the past yeah uh, in the past because i have like i was doing once i was, I was doing a live stream and then they somehow came to know and they just like gave me a corporate not not a corporate mark but i know i don't know it was like a violation mark and i got a strike on the website on my youtube channel for like which lasted uh, for six months and that was really bad so i will be like i will try my best to upload the videos but if i see that they, they're just like uh uh, like taking down my videos I can't really help you then guys so you can just uh, pay, pay like you can pay me on telegram and I can just teach you personally so that's how it goes so before we without wasting time anymore we're gonna get started so now I want to first of all talk about what, what, what about the person that have a low end PC so for you guys you can use always use a RDP which means a remote desktop protocol like that's a, a PC hosted by Google or some other uh, companies is by themselves so you can use that all those PCs all and this those are like a virtual desktop that most of the persons use well the thing is uh, it you need to pay for that but you can always like there's some kind of like sometimes there was kind of a, like a trick well I'm gonna talk about the Azure that's uh, I'm gonna sh let me show you well azure.com and it's uh it's like a yeah, uh, virtual PCs uh, uh, I'm gonna say host kind of like which is a Microsoft uh, oh, Let me confused about this one like look it's that RDP which is hosted by Microsoft itself So which means it's a Google verified so this is good to go You can also use the AWS one, but I'm gonna just talk about the trick personally right now So the trick is you can just like uh, you can just like a uh, login normally uh, With your credit card and stuff with us cards and stuff and they're gonna give you like two hundred dollar extra thing but they're gonna deduct the money from a car later on but the trick is you can use a student account which means if you're just like you uh, study in some university study in some college you have a student gmail account like dot edu account kind of stuff you can always go to like uh, you can always search for Azure for students and they give you they will give you an offer they will give you hundred dollar credits which will give which will give you the uh, opportunity to use the RDP for one month which will be like 16 gigs of RAM and the uh, Intel Xeon processor with the like I um, would say uh, it, it gets like a, a 200 megabyte speed which means two gigabyte speed in the speed test.net I'm gonna show you live that so you can always just click on that and get it get started with that but you know what if it really don't have if you really don't have any of those types like I talk about you can use your PC if it's not important that I know I'm just I'm not just talking like normally if you really don't have a beefy PC like you can get the work done but it will take a really really long time it will take a lot of time and your PC might crash so you need just I will tell you that what to do if you have like an uh, like 
low end PC. You can do that also that, but you can't just like do so many things on that. You can just do it, I don't know. Under some uh, limitations, you can just do kind of like stuff that. But for now, I do have a good kind of PC. Let me just show you my PC specifications. It's not like high end PC, but you know, normal PCs. Let me go to the system information. Alright, so you can just uh, take a look at my PC. I got like AMD Ryzen 5 with 6 cores and uh, 12 threads, which is like a base clock at 3.6 megahertz. It can just like go up to 4.2 megahertz. I can just like overclock it to that. That's all up to me. And I got like 16 gigs of RAM, which is 3200 megahertz. And uh, I will say it's a like, quite a good PC. I got like 500 gigabyte of SSD RAM. SSD, uh, not RAM. So uh, I also got the uh, Microsoft Windows 11. <laughs> That doesn't consider, does it? Nope. So, uh, but the thing is, I don't have a graphic card. I have like GD710 graphic card. I didn't have, my budget was out of that, so I didn't like purchase a graphic card. So, you know, you can always do that, but you don't need a graphic card if, uh, you really don't need a graphic card for cracking or hacking stuff. Those are worthless for hacker. So, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just quickly gonna set up my Azure account because I'm gonna be using RDP. I don't wanna use do this cracking stuff on my PC for privacy reasons. Uh, I'm gonna just tell you about those things in the future. So I will come back as soon as possible. Alright, guys, and welcome back. So I've already set up my account. So uh, another thing I wanna mention here is that you can see I have the student account and I have got this. I got the student account while cracking. Like I cracked this account. And, and I got like 15 student accounts, so I've been using those RDPs from a long time. So you know, that's the benefit of cracking. You can just get those kind of opportunities for yourself. And uh, now let's quickly just make an account for us. And we're gonna go to virtual machines. So all right. So probably wanna go like a resource. We're gonna go create a new resource. Right, uh, virtual machine name is Eldani. So, uh, for the region, we're gonna select any region nearest me nearest to us. And that's uh, Central India. So, uh, in the image, we're gonna select the uh, Windows 10 Pro Generation One because it's it is uh, kind of like low cost. For the size option, we're gonna select the D4 version, DCV is version four, and here we're gonna select the 16 gigabyte of RAM. Let me just take a look at that price option. This is still loading, and uh, let me take a look at that. Oh my God, the price has been increased. I see. Uh, let me just take a look at that, and uh, why the price has increased? I don't know. Holy moly! Which one I used? Uh, I used to use. When I used this, it was not quite expensive, like uh, for now, like it is right now, so it's a little bit confusing. As this kind of audio piece will last like 15 days. I'm quite sad for the price increase, because this kind of stuff is not really satisfying to me. Uh, let me take a look another time. 16 gig of Batman. Yes, we're gonna use this one. Now let me just take a look at another thing also, you know, most used by Azure. Alright, people haven't to be using or not using like 16 gig of RAM mostly. Well I don't know, I just like say you can use 16 gig of RAM. But you can it's also fine to use an 8 gig of, of gigabyte of RAM. So for that purpose, I guess I'm gonna use the uh, eight gigabyte of RAM. All right, never mind. We're gonna use the it's a little bit expensive one. Let's select that one. Sorry, actually, I have turned on the dark mode, so that's why you might be seeing those kind of stuffs. Actually, it's not like that.
username you can add your username and password what you, what you will be using uh, while like you know while uh, signing into your RDP or using your RDP just uh, make sure to check here on the RDP I confirm go to disk well probably I want a uh, one I want some extra info extra disk so I'm gonna be using the one gig one terabyte of SSD disk read and write I'm gonna go next I'm not quite think we can do here so we're gonna just directly jump on to the review plus create option so it will just like review if we are eligible to uh, get this RDP for our versus or not and if we are and then we can go next holy moly this is quite expensive I used to get uh, the RDP for like uh, 8 rupees per hour and that converting that that's like a one penny like 10 penny I guess I don't know All right never mind we're gonna just click on the next option we're gonna create the RDP now so well creating the RDP should not take a uh, quite of time but you know if I just download the dri drivers and stuff it, it should take some time all right guys so the <coughs> RDP has been deployed successfully now what we need to do you need to just click on this option here I'm gonna go to the uh, virtual networks click on the uh, network kind of stuff name uh, ID like that and then uh, we're gonna go to Wait one second, we're just gonna click on the Eldoni virtual machine and that's here you can just like access your machine kind of stuff and they will give a public IP address that's what we're gonna use otherwise you can just like download the uh, RDP I don't know that will be somewhere around there you can do whatever you want to do so for now I'm just using this kind of stuff in I got like 16 gigs of RAM so those kind of stuff alright now what we need to do you need to search for RDP on your PC or you're gonna go, go and go like a remote uh, desktop connection you can go like that, you can paste your ID there, just click on connect the option and they will ask you for username and password just enter the username and password that, are, uh, that you have set it up, up uh, before in the, in the past you choose the remember me option, just click on ok and don't ask me again, click on yes, so now you're into your RDP as easy as that, you can see I'm already going into my RDP it was not much of a big deal, you know Alright, so here is your internet connection information like how much powers are connected with your PC and your RDP. So always uncheck those options. We don't want to lower down our RDP, so you can see. Click on yes. And uh, for the first time boot, you might, might feel a little bit lag in your RDP. And that's because of some optimization that you need to do. So, one second. Alright, so like I told you, they might need to do some optimizations. So maybe later. So first of all, what we're gonna do, we're gonna just like. Alright, so another thing I want to mention here is that always make sure to just like sign into OneDrive because you never know what's gonna happen to your RDP and you might lose all of your process, all of the things you have done it for, uh, like like your cracking progression, something like that. So first of all, I'm gonna just make it like small icons. You can always go to the display settings and just like set your uh, resolution, whatever you wanna set. Yeah, uh, quite you can change that because it will be like set it to your screen resolution automatically and that's the best feature I would say. So first of all let's get our SSD that we're just like get the extra SSD. Uh the you know or I guess what was that? One terabyte of SSD you can see that's not available here because we need to enable that by ourselves. So for that we need to just like right click on the PC the PC option, this PC, just go to manage. All right, now cl uh, click on the disk management part here, and uh, they're gonna ask you what you wanna select, MBR or GDP. So probably, you know, MBR is a uh, good kind of stuff. I'm gonna select MBR. Now right click on the un unallocated uh, disk, click on new simple val volume, just click next and next, and, and next you can change the name of the volume. I will say Eldoni, I will say Eldoni course, finish. So they're gonna just tell you to format to this because it will not be useful unless until you want to format it. Just do a quick format. You don't need to just like go all the way, all the way deep in the formatting. <coughs> so you can already see we're getting the 
<coughs> Adobe course drive here. Uh, <coughs> like I was talking about the progression. The things is like uncheck the options, you know. Show course on a button. Show task with button. Oh no, not that one. Sorry. News interactive. When it's turn this off, we don't want any news kind of stuff like that. For a PC and another thing, always turn off your wires and track prediction. Uh, it's just because we're gonna use some of the applications. Uh, that's ma that might be detected as you know threats or something like that. But don't worry, guys. I'm gonna give you all the like best applications you ever need to. You will never know. So for the browser, we're gonna use a Brave browser. That's the best browser I will always prefer to use. Uh, and in my case, I'm also gonna use a Brave browser. Right. So we're gonna download the Brave browser. So you will also notice the speed of our RDP. I'm gonna show you what's the speed of my RDP right into connection speed. And just take a look at that. Just uh, see how, in how much time it will download the thing. Downloading complete. Yeah, all right. Uh, speed test. Speed test by Okla. When just click on the go, you can see this is the Microsoft ID. So you know you are fully secure. You don't need to use any VPN kind of stuff. You are hundred percent secure. And you can see already the, the ping is around six, and the internet speed. Uh, uh, what will be like? You can see one gigabyte, touching one gigabyte. Like I already mentioned you there. Why? Uh, sometimes it also just like uh, goes up to two gigabytes, but you know, I guess there's some kind of updation going in the background process. I search for check for updates. Always just like pause this stuff. Just don't always make sure to just like nothing is running in the background. So you can also activate your Windows PC. So I'm also gonna activate my Windows PC. Like this video is gonna be a full RP setup guide. <coughs> uh actuate your windows using cmd all right we're gonna go do this one search for cmd run as administrator all right uh, so we're gonna need just like we'll do some copy pasting first of all slmgr.bbs slash gpk it will just lead your current uh, you know product key well, I'm just telling you to do this thing just because you know they will just like mess up. They will just ask you again and again if you want to activate your PC or not. If you want to activate your PC or not. And once they get to know your PC is not activated, so just search for Windows 10 uh, Pro key. And this one always works. W269 uh, WF. Uh, I promise, man. I've I once I learned this key because I didn't have the internet connection, and I got to my friend's house and I learned this key, and they just came house came to my house back again, and I like this is the key. So probably this one doesn't work. So I don't know why it doesn't work, but sometimes it doesn't work. If this one doesn't work, so you can always use the uh, kms.xspace.in. Well, let's take a look. I guess it should probably work. It might take some little bit of time. Oh, sorry, I didn't have and press enter. So this one do, might take uh, like some seconds. As long as you slash ATO because this is where the like a uh, setup thing is going on, and they they will just like uh, uh just like activate your Windows right here. So they're gonna show you what will what will happen. Uh, if they will probably show you like the interval has been activated successfully, you can see. But if not, you can always use like the I don't know. That's like a KMS uh Pico Pico. Yes, this is uh, a KMS Pico activator. This is our official Microsoft Windows 10 activator. So you can use this one and activate your Windows successfully. I'm gonna sh so you can see my Windows has been activated. Now I'm gonna go to the uh, taskbar setting and I'm gonna use a uh, uh, use small taskbar setting options kind of like stuff. And that's the best one you can always like go to because you know that's really good to use. So here we go. Well, I already set it up. I know so many things in Yavo. And well, like I would say, kind of like main thing. So now we're gonna download the WinRAR applications because we need just like do so many kind of those stuffs. Let's download this one. 
Let's open it up. Install. Okay. Done. See? This is called the power of speed. Well, uh, we downloaded the Minrod. Alright, so. You can also watch your movies on this PC, you know? You can just like download them in uh, lightning fast speed and just watch them and enjoy your movies. So, guys, you can already see why I have like uh, done a lot of things here. Just don't mess with up those the microphones, like Windows Asia things, like packages things. So uh, that was quite it for this uh, first uh, setting is uh, RDP setup video or your own PC setup video. I'm just talking about the main setups things you need, you need to understand. So you can see you already well already done with this thing. Well, in the next video I'm going to do a little bit more deeper into the cracking session. We're going we're to download the thing, the tools we need for cracks. Well, not going to download all the tools, but you know. Uh, I'm gonna download the tools according to our needs when we need whatever so we're gonna just download it according to that So I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye and have a nice day subscribe to me YouTube channel if you have not hit the like button so, uh, Just comment down below. How are, are you liking those videos? What do you want in the future? So I will see you in the future. Bye. Bye and see ya